All right, you guys, so today we got some bundles. I'm gonna just show you guys the bundles. I'm not really gonna be showing myself right now. So these bundles are from Motown Trust. This is their 10A Plus bundles. This is the lace closure. I am gonna take it out of the pack. This is in the Sombra Curl, and this is 14 inches. So it does have these little packs at the bottom. Like I noticed each one of the bundles has that in there. So this is how it comes. Here's the back. And it's stapled, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is stapled onto here. So I'm just going to, I don't know, use my fingers to pull the staples back. Cause I don't want to rip the lace trying to get this closure off. So there's one side. Let me get the other, if I can, ouch. Okay, so that's what I will say. I don't like that this is stapled onto here. I wish they would have found like a different way to adhere this without like stapling it. Cause that hurt. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is the lace closure. Like I said, it is 14 inches. It does seem to be possibly pre-plucked or something like that, but let me take the net off cause there is a net on the hair. So I'm gonna take the net off. And then there's also the little hang tag. So yeah, there we go. So boom. So this is the closure. I just wanted to give you guys like my first impressions before actually making the wig. The hair seems like it may have like a product on here or something. Like just the way it feels, it feels like there's something on here. But this is the back part of the closure. It is a four x four lace closure like usual. And um, yeah, it just seems like there's something on here. I don't know what's on here. It doesn't really have a smell. It doesn't smell like anything, but I'm just gonna also run my fingers through so you guys can see. It is really pretty and it's soft. And they said that this is like, supposedly this is Brazilian hair. But I don't know, child. So yeah, this is the closure. Here are the bundles. It comes on this little cardboard like this. Um, they are like wired in the back. Like, you know, that gold wire thing. So that's that. And then all of the bundles are kind of like adhered like that. So it does have the inches on each one. Once again, this is also the 10A Plus uh, bundles, and this is 100%, un it says it's 100% unprocessed virgin Brazilian human hair. Uh, it claims that you can dye, bleach, and perm this hair. I don't know who's like perming bundles though. Are y'all perming bundles out there? So let me just go ahead and take these off. They are in order from, so I have a 14 inch, which also matches that closure, that's 14 inch, 16 inch, and then I have an 18 inch. And then this is the, the motto, so I'm assuming it's supposed, when I'm done, it should look something like this. So we'll see. This is the 14 inch. This is the bundle size, which is pretty large. Like you get a lot of hair, so that's great. Especially since this is a closure wig unit, which does require more hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the hair net off, if I can. Okay. So, this is the bundle, like untampered with. I'm not even gonna try to undo the curl pattern yet. Um, it does, I mean, it does feel like, you know, real hair. It doesn't feel like synthetic at all. It definitely feels like real hair. What I am gonna do on camera with y'all, I am gonna wet this bundle just to see like what it's looking like. But right now, I mean, I'm actually pretty impressed by the quality of this hair. I wasn't really sure, because I'm like, beauty supply bundles? Like, I don't know. But it says that this is 100% human hair, so I don't think that they could say it's human hair if it wasn't human hair. So, but this is what this bundles look like, and it is pretty full. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet this bundle so y'all can see what that looks like, and I'm also gonna wet the closure. That way we can also see whether or not it's gonna keep this same pattern. So yeah, this is what the hair looks like while it's wet. I am gonna scrunch it up. Now this doesn't feel like it has anything on it like the closure did. The closure felt like it was like something on there, like some kind of film, I'm not sure what that was. Conditioner or what. 
but yeah so this is the 14 inch bundle so boom there that goes now I'm just gonna go ahead and wet the closure as well just so we can see what that looks like wet and maybe we can get some of this product out I am going to be bleaching the knots on here as well so yeah, let's just see what this closure looks like wet. I mean, it looks pretty good to me. Um, let me see if I'm experiencing any shedding. I do have a little bit of shedding, like a couple of strands. I don't even know if y'all can see that. Just a little. It's not even that much. It's like literally a strand. I don't even know if y'all can see that. It's like literally one strand of hair, but it's not like shedding all over the place or anything like that. But I mean, so far so good. Okay, so I've already um, pinned my closure down to my mannequin head. So this is what it's looking like all the way around. This is the type of wig cap that I like to use. This is the mesh dome style wig cap and it looks exactly how it looks on the mannequin obviously and then this is what it looks like when you pull it out. This is the kind of dome caps that I like to use. These are $4 at uh, my beauty supply store but the price uh, varies depending on the area and where you're at. So this is what I use. Um, so I just pinned down the entire perimeter from the front of my mannequin head. So here I pinned the back parts and then I also pinned the middle of the closure and the back of the closure. Now I would show you guys but I just right now decided to record um, and I already literally had like this like kind of tacked down. Also the type of thread that I use is nylon thread. I do not use cotton thread. I do not suggest using cotton thread. And I got this big spool um, that I bought like last year sometime. I don't remember how much this costs, but it's not expensive. Uh, maybe about five bucks or so max. And then I'm using a I'm using a long curved needle. I would suggest picking up multiple um, if you can, maybe about five of these so you can constantly have them in rotation. Right now I'm making another wig so I am just going to be using this one in today's video rather than transitioning. And the reason why I like to use this mesh cap is because it has all these little holes in it so it makes it a lot easier for you when, when it comes to sewing. It makes it easier for me anyhow. So once I have it through here, um, I don't know if you guys, you guys probably can't see that, but I take my thread and I like from the beginning part, so there's this half that's at the end of the needle, and then there's this half that I've hooped onto the lace already. I take this half that's hooped onto the lace, and then I wrap it around the needle, usually about four times. Then I hold on to the base, and then I pull the needle through. And that's going to secure our lace closure and it's gonna create a knot. So you guys probably can't see that, but cause it's black obviously, but there is a knot right here. So that's how you secure your lace. And I like to do that um, usually anytime I pivot. So I do one here, I do one in the back right here where it's like a point. I do one on all four corners basically of the closure it's just to make sure that it's really secure. So now I'm just going to continue sewing. So now what you want to do is you want to get your longest bundle and the longest one that I have is 18 inches. So this is the bundle that you always want to start with. Um, just in case you're not really sure like how to sew your wig, um, a lot of people may not know that so I did want to let you guys know that you should always start sewing your wig with the longest bundle first at the base and then the higher you go up the shorter the bundle so it'll go 18 down here 16 probably around here and then 14 up at the top that matches the 14 inch closure so keep that in mind so I'm just going to unravel our bundle here and just slide this part off which comes with the tag. 
Now the texture of this particular hair is called the Samba Curl. This is the hair in its dry state. So you guys can see this is what it looks like dry. And then of course in the end we'll see what everything looks like while it's wet. So you're going to unravel your bundle. So what I like to do is I like to start with this end. So when you unravel your bundle, that's literally like the first piece that you have. So this end that's folded, I like to start with this first and I always double my tracks, even all the way to the top. Now some people, they don't double their tracks to the top, they do single at the top, double at the bottom. Some people crisscross it and they don't cut their tracks, I mean, it's really up to you. Uh, as you can see, there is some thread from maybe the factory that the hair was sewn in. Maybe they make clothes at that factory. But if you ever see things like this in the hair, it's very simple. You can just literally pull it out and, you know, it's in my hand now. And then it's gone. So um, that is something I guess maybe you guys want to know. So this is what the hair is looking like. I am going to wash the hair once the wig has been sewn. So I'm going to pull my mannequin head up a little bit for you guys. So I kind of like to look at the mannequin head and imagine there is an ear right here. So what I want to do is I want to go a little bit above the ear. And I usually leave about this much space at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a T-pin. These are called T-pins. You can buy them at your local beauty supply store or you can even order a box of these on Amazon. Um, the ones on Amazon are a little bit thinner and I like mine thick. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to double my track. I'm going to double my track. I'm going to take the T-pin and I'm going to stick it maybe about that much like right where my thumb is and be careful doing this so what I do is I just push it through the track just like this for some reason the footage cut out here so I'm sorry about that you guys so once you get to right about here where you're like where you have like this U shape in the back I'm gonna start sewing my tracks across all the way across until it hits right here where the rest of everything else is. So all of this is gonna go straight, just a little centerpiece. And then the rest of the tracks, probably once I get to that 14 inch, cause right now I'm on my 16 inch. Once I'm at my 14 inch, I'm gonna start sewing the tracks this way, all the way across, and then it's gonna close up all of this. Um, usually when I get it right around here, I end up like doing like straight, then turning, and then basically pivoting all the way across that part. So yeah. This is pretty much what it looks like. All the tracks are sewn like that. This is the wig so far. So yeah, all of these tracks, you guys can, if my camera will focus. Yeah, all of these tracks are going like this, like downward, basically like a U, right? And then once again, this part here, I, I'll cut my finger too and I don't have band-aids so that's why my finger looks like this. But all right here, these are all just gonna start going straight across. So real quick, I just wanted to show you guys kind of like an example. It looks a little crooked, but you know, whatever. So yeah, basically this is how I'm pinning my tracks. So the tracks in, in this center part are going straight, the tracks in the center part are going straight across. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick exactly how I pin them down. So this is how I pin the track. If this is where it ends, I am gonna cut it once this is sewn. It actually needs to go up a little bit higher on this side, but you guys pretty much get the point. So it starts here. You guys can see it's like cut right here. So it starts here and then just this whole part right here, we're just gonna go straight across. Probably could fit about two more tracks right here before we start getting to the top half. So this is a track that sells everything else. So this track goes across the entire perimeter. So remember what I was saying earlier? This goes all the way around to the other side. And then I'm just gonna continue sewing like this until we get up to here and then that's when I pivot like around that very short part. But for the most part, when you sew it like this, you don't even have to do um, much but literally sew these tracks straight across all the way up to the top and then that's it. 
Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. So I have made the wig. I'm currently bleaching the closure, okay? And you guys, one more thing, one more thing. Did a test strand. This is like a little piece of uh, hair that I had left over from the wig. And I'm doing a test strand just to see if this hair can be bleached. Because it does claim that it can be bleached. So we're bleaching the closure and we're gonna be bleaching this hair. So I'm gonna let both of these sit for a little bit. And then when I come back, I'm gonna have this wig on. We're gonna put the wig on and then I'm gonna show you guys the results of this test strand as well. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, so. Here we are. We're gonna go ahead and prepare for our unit. I don't know why I couldn't say unit right now. So I'm just gonna take, you know, this e.l.f. brush that I always use and um, a foundation that's running out. I've actually just used this foundation just for my wigs now. Um, well, this particular one at least. I have a brand new one that I use for my regular foundation. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and cover up my um, wig cap. Are you guys ready? All right. So this is the wig. This is the wig. The hair smells really good because I put some conditioner on it. Mm, it smells like strawberries. So yeah, this is the closure. I did bleach it and all that. And then remember I told you guys that I did a test strand to see whether or not this hair can be bleached. And I'm gonna show you guys that in just a minute. But let's go ahead and put the wig on without cutting off the lace. You guys know sometimes I just like to show you guys what things look like before we, you know, continue altering it any further. So before I cut the lace off, here what it looks like on. And then I'm also going to just pull it down in the back. And I think I have some hair stuck up under here. Yeah, I do. Okay. So this is the hair just down. And this is 18 inches. It's where it's like hitting me like, you know, right by my boobs or whatever. And I am really impressed with this hair so far. Like, I was not expecting this at all. So what we're gonna do now is I am gonna take the wig off and I'm just gonna put my foundation on the lace. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And then we're just gonna cut the lace off of here. And then we're gonna, you know, add some baby hairs real quick, like I normally do. And you guys, I mean like, based off of what we saw in the pack, like based off of what we saw from the bundles, cause I shared this on my Instagram story too, by the way, just to see, you know, what some of you guys would say. And the response was actually interesting. Okay, so I went ahead and I cut the lace off. I just cut it straight across. I didn't cut it like any special kind of way. And we're just gonna take our wig and pull it down. Now I am gonna pull my wig cap back just a little bit on this side, cause it's too low. Yeah, I'm just pull that back a little okay and then pull that in front actually I don't like it too far back somewhere like that okay cool so yeah you guys this is the wig this is the Samba curl and I'm actually really feeling this hair now what I will say is if you are looking for a really tight curl pattern I would try to opt for maybe one of their other curl patterns because this does come in multiple patterns. Um, they have more like curly types of hair. They have blonde hair that they sell. They have straight hair. They have basically everything that you can imagine. They have it. So um, this is the hair on, obviously. The hair is really soft. I didn't experience like a bunch of shedding with this hair, which is another thing that I was really surprised by. The gardeners want to be out. I don't understand. Look, I'm gonna need y'all to watch some more of my videos so I can move, okay? Because, honey, it is five o'clock in the afternoon and the gardeners is outside. Why are y'all cutting grass at five o'clock in the afternoon? Ain't that for the morning time? So I am gonna straighten out, actually twist my wig over too, because it really wasn't straight. And then I'm going to straighten out my part a little bit, because I do want my part to be a little bit more straight. I don't think that helped at all. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it like that. How about that? That way it looks a little bit more authentic. So now what I'm gonna do is just put in some baby hairs. I'm gonna do one. I usually do like some on the sides because 
when I have closure wigs, this always happens to me. I, girl, it is what it is. So what I usually like to do is I like to do baby hair like on the side here on both sides and then I like to do baby hairs in the center. So I'm gonna just do something quick. I'm not even gonna do nothing too crazy. Using my got to be gel. Everybody knows about this gel. This ain't no secret weapon or nothing. But I'll tell you what is, this toothbrush. <laughs> my secret weapon. I mean, honestly, you guys, I'm impressed because I didn't think this was gonna be like really human hair. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and flex like I wasn't doubting his hair because I really was. I was really like, mm, I don't know about this. What am I getting myself into? But I am very impressed with this hair. So there's just one little piece right there. Boom, so when that falls down like that. And then I do another one on this side. But just like how I asked, you know, my Instagram party or whatever, you know, what they felt about beauty supply store hair. I want to know what you guys think here on my YouTube channel as well. Because I know some people, you know, they're subscribed to me, but they don't necessarily follow me on, like, social media. Which I feel like you should. I mean, I mean I'm literally on Instagram every day. And I share so much more of my life with you guys. I'm a lot more personal there. You know, I talk about things that are happening to me and you just get to see what I'm up to. You get to see like what hairstyles are coming up next. Like a lot of times you'll see that in my comments, like people saying like, oh, I've been wanting to see this tutorial since you posted it on Instagram. So actually this kind of needs to come over a little bit more. Just a little bit in the front. Okay let that come down and then I usually like to do one like right in the center between both parts so probably like this piece right here all right but yeah you should definitely follow me on IG I'm on there every day if you guys love my YouTube channel and you like you know how I am here. Definitely follow me on Instagram. Now, I'm not on Snapchat hardly ever. Honestly, I use Snapchat for the filters and then I post on Instagram. Which is crazy because it's like if you're on, you know, Snapchat, you might as well post on uh, Snapchat. Don't just use the filters or whatever. But I'm going to keep it a buck. Like Snapchat be draining my battery out, girl, and I do not be having time to be walking around with a dead phone because I swear like I'll have like 80% I post two snaps 30% I'm like what the heck uh uh but I don't have that problem on Instagram I'm not really sure why that is but it is so yeah I actually think this baby hair is too big so I'm gonna take some of this off I don't want it to be too big just something slight. And if you ever want that waterfall thing, this is kind of how you do it too. You just brush the hair back. And you can use some gel and that'll help like set it in place like that. So you wanna have a cute little waterfall look. Just brush the hair back. And boom, got yourself a waterfall. All right. So you guys, this is the actual final look. I'm not doing like any crazy hairstyles or anything like too creative today because you know, we're just testing out this hair. So here's a close up look of my closure, what it's looking like on the sides and everything. And this is the hair. So let me turn to this side so you guys can see the curl pattern, what it looks like. I'm pretty sure you guys already know my thoughts on this hair. I love it. I absolutely love this hair. I think it's amazing. Now, is this hair 10A grade? I don't know if it's necessarily 10A, but I would say that this is indeed human hair. That's for sure. It's not like synthetic hair or anything like that. This is for sure human hair. You can bleach the knots as you guys can see. 
What I will say for one, if you guys were wondering if this hair sheds all over the place, because I know that's a common issue that people experience with beauty supply store hair. There is some shedding, but it's very minimal, very minimal shedding. So I know some people were wondering, like I got two strands right there. I'll run my hair through the other parts. Like I got a couple strands here. So there that is. But overall, I mean, I really like it. So you guys, I'm going to show you guys the strand of hair that I bleached. This is it. It's like all kind of, it looks a little bit crazy because it was just sitting, it was literally like balled up like this on my coffee cup, <laughs> on my coffee cup right here. I had accidentally uh, sat my coffee cup on it. I didn't notice until right now. But yeah, so that's why it's like a little bit balled up. But this is how I was able to bleach the hair. So it went from this to this. And it still has, you know, a nice curl pattern to it. I wet the hair as well so you guys can see what it looks. I mean, this is what it's like dry. But I'm just gonna wet the hair for you guys real quick. So if you guys are wondering whether or not you can bleach the hair, you can definitely bleach the hair and it doesn't, you know, mess up the curl pattern. I'm just gonna scrunch it up to like get it back curly or whatever. But yeah, it doesn't like mess up the curl pattern. It will still remain curly. So that's another common issue that people have sometimes when it does come to curly hair. They end up like messing up the curl pattern or they're afraid to lose the curl pattern because of bleaching it. A lot of people are very, even today I got a comment on one of my other videos and someone was saying how they are afraid to bleach their curly hair. But it is okay to bleach your curly hair. And another thing that I like is that it bleached evenly. Like it's not patchy or anything like that. Like it's all one color. And I know it's hard to tell cause you know, but I'll put it in my hair so you guys can see. And yes, so um, those are the claims. Uh, a lot of the claims, so let me look on here. Um, this, I kept this for you guys. This is the thing that all the bundles were like hooked to. It says it's 100% unprocessed virgin Brazilian human hair. It says that you can dye the hair. It says you can bleach the hair and you can perm the hair. I've never permed hair like human, like this kind of human hair before. The only time I ever perm my hair is when I used to have like a short haircut. But other than that, I don't really perm, you know, hair. But if you did want to dye this hair, you can definitely dye it. You can bleach it. This is with one um, go around as far as like the bleach. I use the quick blue bleach that I use to like bleach my knots and 30 volume developer. And this is what I got. Um, you can definitely lift this up higher if you wanted to, but I am impressed. So yeah. So I went onto my Instagram account and I asked a lot of people how they felt about beauty supply store hair, what their thoughts were, and here's what a couple of you guys had to say. Um, okay. So one of my subscribers, her Instagram is Cream Kinsey. Crane Kinsey said, it's just something about beauty supply store hair that don't last long. I'm not sure what they be doing to it. I can't F with it, LOL. And if I do, it's just for a day or so. That hair is pretty, I'm sure. Um, she was referring to this hair. She said, that hair is pretty, I'm sure you're going to slay it, but the ends look a little suspect. I can't wait to see the upload. So if you guys do want to see the ends, I will show you guys the ends, what the ends are looking like. They're still curly. I mean, honest, personally, I like this hair. I like it a lot. So let's see what somebody else had to say. So Sonia Lachey says, people are sleeping on it. I get my bundles and closures from there. I'm in Mississippi and it's cheap. All of our beauty supply stores are owned by Arabians. So they be having that good hair. So I don't know if she's necessarily talking about pack hair, cause that's what I'm referring to when I say beauty supply store hair, or if she's just talking about like human hair bundles that they sell there. So, I don't know. So, Galore Beauty says it's it's a hit or a miss. And I I don't know, I, I can't really speak on it because I haven't worn beauty supply stores hair since 2007, so for all of it, it's a miss to me. <laughs> um, yeah, some of these are not, don't have nothing to do with this. Oh my gosh, I have too many messages. I reply to all of, anybody that sends me a DM, I reply to everybody. Unless I think it was like weird or something, then yeah. Um, so April's face says, they be having good pack hair. She says that they have, they be having good pack hair. I don't know why people be acting like it's cheap BS. 
Um, yeah, like I said, like I was telling her, I was like, I don't know, I haven't worn pack hair since like 2007. So once again, like I couldn't really speak on that because I didn't really know. But April Face and everybody else, girl, I am a true believer now. I am like wowed by pack hair. I mean, this is pack hair. This hair came on here in the little clear packs. The, the closure came in here. And I'm just like, what? Girl, I would have never thought. And if you can freaking bleach the hair. Like you can really you can bleach this hair. Now, another thing that I can do for you guys, um, I can straighten this hair out if you guys want to see what the hair looks like. Straighten it and see if it'll curl again or if it won't curl back up again. I mean, you guys just let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want me to do. Why are we cutting hair at five o'clock in the afternoon? Did I say cutting hair? <laughs> Girl, anyway, let me know. Sound off in the comments down below and let me got Sound off in the comments down below and let me know what you guys want me to do to this hair. I'ma just experiment with it. I'ma wear it. I'ma see how it acts. I'll straighten it out if you guys want me to. I, you know, I've already bleached it, so we know that the hair can be bleached. And you know, when you bleach hair, of course you can put some color on it once it's light enough. But if I was to color this, I would definitely lift it up. But even if you wanted to bleach the hair and wear it like this, you could do that too. Because this is kind of like an experiment, I wanna actually keep this hair for about a month. You know, like play around with it for a month. And then I can update you guys on how this hair is holding up by the end of March. So if you guys wanna know, what is the shedding like? What is the tangling like? Um, what it did the curl pattern stay like I'm gonna keep you guys updated on this hair uh, what it's you know acting like if it starts to give me problems because a lot of times it, it doesn't matter if it's hair that you buy off of AliExpress an independent seller a vendor a wholesale vendor wherever you buy your hair from a lot of times hair especially curly hair is usually good when you first get it sometimes not and then over time you start to see how the hair really is going to act. So right now it's fine. I'm not receiving any tangling in the back of my head or anything like that. So that's another thing that I'm gonna test out throughout this month. Do I get tangling in the back of the head? Because that's usually something that people experience with hair. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on everything. But yeah, you guys, this is it. I am impressed, Motown Tress. Now, I would have never expected this quality of hair from you know, a company that typically sells synthetic hair. That's kind of what I know Motown Trust for, is their synthetic wigs. And I have worked with them or worked with their hair in the past. And that's kind of what I've known them for. So I never thought that they would have, you know, human hair. But yeah, you guys, so once again, this is the hair. This side. The hair is like really pretty and curly. It's like a nice curl pattern. And then I'll come to this side. You guys can also see. What, Papa? You're not in trouble, baby. So, yeah. That about wraps up today's video. If you guys were interested in purchasing Motown Tress Sombra Curl and you weren't really sure on whether or not it was worth the purchase, I definitely think this is something to look into. Look into it, even if it's like you're trying to get some hair just for the moment. I'm telling you, check it out. I wouldn't lie to y'all. Y'all already know if I don't like something, I'm going to let you know. So yeah, you guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video, and I will see you guys in my next one.